My name is Lauren Robinson. I'm currently a medical assistant for the dermatology group in Cincinnati, Ohio. I recently moved back home after graduating in May of 2020 with a degree in neuroscience from Furman University. My day-to-day -day with the dermatology group is pretty varied, but I've consistently worked with an older patient population and learned to absolutely love it. Um, my main goal is to offer complete care to all of our patients. With an older patient population, especially in the pandemic, I find how crucial it is to give them this tiny moment for human connection at every visit. Whether it's offering to tie a shoe or helping someone button up their shirt or walking them down the hall, I know that it makes a difference um, because it has made a difference to me also. The opportunity has helped me prepare for medical school by showing me the practical and procedural side of medicine and general cosmetic and surgical dermatology. Um, my journey to wanting to become a doctor um, has really just evolved from a love of learning to teaching people to caring for people. Um, it started when my dad had cancer when I was 10 years old and I had always wanted to be a writer and decided very quickly that I needed to offer my help and my services to the world in a different way. Um, from there, I just became enthralled by science and fascinated by the way that the body could both harm and heal itself, um, similarly to the way that medicine can both harm and heal us. Um, from there, I started volunteering in Cincinnati Children's Hospital and just loved spending the time with kids and saw myself as this pediatrician who would, you know, have stickers on her badge and wear all these fun tennis shoes to just make someone's day outside of, you know, a hospital and to offer true care and be caring. In college, I got involved in clinical molecular research. Um, I most recently became the principal investigator for a Parkinson's study based upon my undergraduate thesis, where we are examining biomarkers so we can better subtype Parkinson's. It has shown me how to use my strengths in understanding science to teach others and is what inspired me to start an outreach program in my community for young girls to find their confidence within the STEM fields. I think that medicine has a huge ability to treat both the person and the community and one way we can do this is by educating others about healthcare properly. But beyond that, I have also studied abroad in Denmark and seen women's healthcare and been exposed to a different kind of women's healthcare and holistic care. And that really opened up a different part of me to medicine, to preventive medicine and lifestyle medicine, and has really inspired my own health and wellness journey. Um, for me, my desire to become a doctor is to use all of my talents to absolutely be the champion of each patient's choice, to know their values, their burdens, their ends, their means, to take them on and help them find these practical solutions that apply to them, and to be the person that stands beside them and offers them the best kind of care that I can. When I envision myself as a doctor in five to 10 years, I want to be a leader in the medical community by making medicine more personal. I believe that change happens with one interaction at a time and by turning those charts back into conversations. I think it's crucial that we see medicine as this fantastic tool, but we use it to treat the person and not the problem. I want to do this in every interaction I have as a doctor and inspire others to do the same. One thing that is exciting about me and that has colored my goals for myself as a future physician is my love of reading. I've read over 38 books since March. Um, I'm catching up for last time, but it has shown me that I can combine two of my greatest passions, like Dr. Atul Gawande with his beautiful book, Being Mortal. I want to highlight the human experience and human suffering through writing, in addition to getting to know my patients and treating this patient population. As someone who has known family financial troubles for most of my life and worked throughout my entire undergraduate experience, and will be paying for my medical school experience, this grant would mean the absolute world to me.